There is a Kenyan athlete called Abel Mutai. In the year 2012 of December, Abel Mutai went for a marathon competition in Spain. And he won the race. He actually left the person following him with a very long distance. Now something happened. Abel Mutai got confused with the signals and thought he had finished the race. He was actually number one. So he stopped running and was checking his watch, thinking that he has already won. Right behind him was a gentleman, a Spanish, called Ivan. Now, on realizing what was happening, Ivan started shouting at Abel Mutai, telling him to continue running because he had not finished the race. Abel, being a villager from Kenya, would not understand the Spanish. And so he kept on walking normally. And Ivan realized that this man does not understand Spanish. So he ran forward and pushed Abel to win the race. That is how Abel won that race. And so the media gathered to interview Ivan Fernandez for that act of kindness. And he made some very profound statements. And one that caught my attention is that what is the joy of having victory that you didn't deserve. You knew very well that even if I take advantage of this guy, if I take advantage of his confusion and just jump forward and win this race, I don't deserve it. Now, if you check the distance that this gentleman gave me, it was not possible to cover that distance and win the race. So it was obvious that Abel won the race. So I pushed him to get what he deserved. My question is this, how many in our generation will push someone to get what they deserve, knowing that this person deserves this thing, let him get it. In most cases, people will jump forward to take advantage of people's weaknesses to get what belongs to them. We've heard of cases where someone dies, and the next thing that the brothers do is to collect all that belong to this man and leave the children and the widow to suffer. They take advantage of the children because they're young, they cannot follow the legal procedure and so on to grab what belongs to their brothers who is supposed to be owned by the children and so the children are suffering while they enjoy what belongs to these orphans now what people don't know is that as you're doing that you are actually cursing your own family because these orphans will suffer but somehow they'll maneuver their way in life and still make it because when you mistreat people, you make them God's favorite, and they will obviously succeed in life. So how do you feel when you know very well that you are enjoying what someone else should be having, what someone else worked for? That is not humanity. Let us sometimes be like Ivan. We know this person deserves this thing. Push that person to get it. Now the thing is this. Such an act can never go scot-free. You'll always reap the consequences of the same unless you push what belongs to the orphans to have it. In most cases, people take advantage of foreigners. They come to do business deal, and since this person knows that this person does not belong to our country, they maneuver their ways and strip this foreigner of what belongs to them, and they remain to enjoy it and ensure that by all means the foreigner is deported or the foreigner cannot in any way get back what belongs to them. I'm trying to imagine how you feel it when you know very well that you're enjoying someone's blood, someone's sweat, while the person is languishing in depression and frustration somewhere. Let's have the humanity of Ivan Fernandez. Push someone to get what belongs to them. Don't take what does not belong to you. It will haunt your conscience. Thank you.